morning guys how are you all today so it is sunday and i'm meant to be going fishing today with my cousin gareth uh, and jade but had a little bit of a problem this morning uh, hence the reason that i'm in this car uh, bombing my way over to my parents house so if you go back a few months uh, i went to my mum and dad's house and picked up all my fishing gear uh, and i showed you it on camera but i couldn't fit my rods in my car so my mum and dad were going to bring them over to my house like the next time they come in the truck but for one reason or another that uh, has been completely forgotten and I woke up this morning and the first thing I thought of was shit I haven't got any fishing rods and I'm going fishing today so I am uh, bombing over to my mum and dad's house now which is about uh, probably 45 minutes away from me maybe a bit less than that uh, with no traffic and the reason I'm in Jade's uh, car is because obviously they don't fit in my car so I'm taking Jade's car so I've got to get to my mum and dad's get the rods get back home and uh, then go out fishing but Gareth is going to be at my house before I get back so they're going to go straight down to the uh, lakes and then I will meet them down there once I've picked up my rods and stuff but yeah what an absolute nightmare uh, to wake up to I completely and utterly forgot and luckily I remembered uh, reasonably early this morning also I think I've got a key to my mum and dad's house but I can't remember if it's the right one so I'm going over there on the knowledge that I could have the wrong key for their house and then I've got to go all the way back to my sister's which is halfway back to my house uh, get a key and then go back to my mum and dad's and then go back home and then go to the lake so as you can probably see it's an absolute nightmare uh, of a situation for me but anyway i'm going to crack on with it so uh, whilst i'm on my way last night i watched the uh, frotch versus groves uh, fight i don't really watch boxing at all i'm not a fan of boxing at all and i'll tell you why in a minute and um yeah i watched it and to be fair uh, I wish I hadn't have wasted my money on the box office because it was boring as hell. Uh, in the end, in fact, no, I better not tell you in case some of you haven't seen it, so I won't give away any spoilers. Uh, but yeah, that was that. Let me tell you why I don't really like boxing. The reason I like uh, things like UFC, MMA, is because it's a real uh, test between two men utilising pretty much everything they've got available to them other than headbutting and biting, really. Um, and kicking in the bollocks obviously uh, and it's a real test between two men to see who is the uh, superior man in terms of fighting ability now with boxing although I really genuinely appreciate the skill uh, especially the cardio that they have is phenomenal um, it's not a test of it's not a true fighting test because in a real fight no one is ever gonna fight just using their hands uh, it's just never ever going to happen. A real fight is never going to consist of two people just swinging their arms at each other. It's always going to involve uh, potentially going to the floor uh, or kicking or elbows or knees or some, some other aspect uh, to fighting other than just swinging your arms around. So to me it gives no real indication as to who is the superior fighting man because it's not a fight, it's just a throwing your arms at each other I, I mean I appreciate it is a fight but it's not a proper fight so that is why I'm really not a fan of boxing because it doesn't really tell you anything uh, about their true fighting ability it just tells you who's the better boxer so I guess if you're into boxing then that's fine but um, from a pure kind of po uh, fighting point of view to me it, it's not really a true kind of uh, test if you like Luckily, I did have the right key and I picked up my rods, these three, and then my beautiful Shimano quiver tip. So yeah, they're all loaded in the car, just about fit, and now I've got to get all the way back home again as soon as possible to get down to the lake. 
oh man, I'm so pleased that I had the right key and uh, that I managed to get in and get everything and then uh, get out and get back on the road. Uh, my cousin's just turned up at my house. I should be home in about 20 minutes. So all in all, it didn't work out too bad other than the waste of petrol uh, on bombing it over to my mum and dad's house. But, oh well, that is that. And now I can get home, get loaded up and get on my way to fishing. So here we are, we're fishing at the lake. Jay, say hello. Hi. She's stuffing her face, as always. She's meant to be fishing with that rod next to her, but she's doing absolutely fucking jack shit. Can I see her? There's gals set up over there. There's mine over there. You can see my camera out as well. I've been doing some filming, so I might put a little 4K segment up with some sort of background music and show some video on that of the lake. There's my cousin gal. <laughs> Captain, Captain Mortar. <laughs> and then over there in the background behind Jay's fat edge, you can see there is actually like a little food place. And we've been waiting for it to open all day and it still ain't open, so we're all starving hungry. It's about, what is it now, two o'clock or something? What's time? Quarter to one? Quarter past one. Um, we're all starving hungry. Jade hasn't made us anything to eat or anything like that. So we're just waiting for that to open up and hurry it. Hopefully we can get some food. But you can see it's a very nice, tranquil, beautiful location. Although Jade, you're he's sitting right in the middle of it and ruining the, the shot. I don't care. Really? Do you want me? No? No. You gonna go and get something to eat? No. Waiting for it to open. Go down to McDonald's down the road. Where's down the road? Sandwich Wells? Definitely not. No? No. I haven't caught anything yet. Although I'm sure that a shark is going to latch on at any moment. And almost rip one of my rods into the water. At which point I'm going to leap over there. Grab the butt of the rod. And catch it just in time. And then just bring it straight into shore. And um, that's it, yeah. No problemo. In fact, this chair I'm sitting in now, this is a special chair because this chair has been with me queuing at the Apple store overnight. <laughs> and uh, I brought it with me fishing. So it's just a, yeah, it's a lucky chair. The food van has opened. Uh, me and Jade are just on our way over there now to grab some food, aren't we? Yes, baby. <laughs> Well, we've just finished up at the lake. It is 7.30 uh, in the evening. To be honest, I could have stayed a lot longer, but oh well, what can you do? Uh, unfortunately, didn't catch anything. A uh, gal proper hooked into one, and he's, uh, one of the knots he tied on the hook broke, so he lost it, which was absolutely shameful uh, schoolboy error. But it was an absolutely beautiful day today, as you can tell by my, uh, again, me being burned. Um, beautiful location. They even had really nice food there as well. Um, overall an absolutely fantastic day, can't really complain. Uh, great to be out with my uh, cousin Gal for the day as well. Jade loved it, spending some time in the sun, just kind of lounging around, relaxing. So couldn't really ask for anything better. Anyway, that is it from me today. Tomorrow we are back to the daily grind on Monday morning. So best get prepared for that. I've got to unload all of this shit uh, in the back into the garage and then go out and chill out indoors. I haven't even watched UFC yet, so I'm gonna probably watch that tonight. But have yourselves a great Sunday evening and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>